1948, West Germans were just starting to put their economy back on its feet. Franz Bierbichler Jr. was working for a brewery and driving a Mercedes. He had to start work every day at 6.30 a.m., but he was happy even to have a steady job in those hard post-war years. First thing in the morning, he would drive out his Mercedes 170 pickup and load it up with beer. West Germany depended on hard-working people like Franz Bierbichler to rebuild a largely ruined economy and get it humming again. The 1948 Mercedes 170 V pickup was basically the 1936 model from before the war, as is plain to see by the instruments. Daimler-Benz resumed production in 1946 under extremely difficult conditions. No electricity, no coal, no steel or iron. But at least some of the production facilities and supplies had escaped the ravages of the war intact. Soon, the Mercedes 170 pickup was joined by a van version, a sedan and a convertible. Up to six people could squeeze onto the pickup's wooden benches. A vertical backrest and padding made the front seat only slightly more comfortable. The 1.7-liter four-cylinder inline engine put out a modest 38 horsepower at 3,600 RPMs. In 1949, a diesel was offered, of the same size and with the same power. No the 42-liter fuel tank was located in the engine compartment to save space. The bed was easy to open and load up. Then everyone could climb aboard for a rather leisurely drive. The pre-war chassis and two traverse leaf springs effectively prevented the driver from getting in too much of a hurry, or he'd risk losing his load. A heavy foot on the gas kept the transmission in line, synchronized gears or no. The worm and sector steering took a bit of muscle and responded only very approximately. The pickup was the true workhorse of Mercedes 170 range. Franz Bierbichler Jr. appreciated the simple and robust character of his little beer wagon, just as most drivers of this Mercedes pickup did in those days. Why he gave the horse my money?